Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to read a funny story about hungry piranhas. There were ten piranhas swimming in the river. They played a game, and each time, one piranha was gone. Do you want to know what happened to them? Don't forget to watch all the way through, because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Ten Sly Piranhas, a counting story in reverse, by William Wise. Pictures by Victoria Chess. Ten sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Ten hungry fishes, hoping very much to dine. Then one sly piranha sneaked up close behind another, and with a gulp and a gurgle, there were only nine. Nine sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Nine little tricksters who were lying there in wait. Then one said, "My dear, you can trust me like a brother." And with a gulp and a gurgle, there were only eight. Eight sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Frolicsome and frisky, and yet greatly to be feared. Then all began to play a game of follow the leader. And with a gulp and a gurgle, number eight had disappeared. Seven sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Each a slippery schemer with a dozen dirty tricks. Then one said, "Come close if you want to hear a secret." And with a gulp and a gurgle, there were only six. Six sly piranhas were swimming in the river, dreaming of their dinners as piranhas often do. Then one stopped to stare at some turtles that were passing. And with a gulp and a gurgle, number six had vanished too. Five sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Five roguish rascals all rotten to the core. Then one spied another eating beetles at the bottom. And with a gulp and a gurgle, there were only four. Four sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Four cool carnivores, which as crafty as could be. Then one found a cave and asked, "Shall we go exploring?" And with a gulp and a gurgle, there were only three. Three sly piranhas were swimming in the river. The last remaining members of that memorable crew. Then one saw his neighbor growing sleepy in the sunlight, and with a gulp and a gurgle, there were only two. Two sly piranhas were swimming in the river. A pair of artful actors just pretending to have fun. Then the first cried. Look out! There's a giant snake behind you. And with a gulp and a gurgle, there was only one. A single sly piranha was swimming in the river, more cunning than the others, for he vanquished everyone. Thought he'd grown so clever, he could eat up anybody. 
a snap, went old Croc. And then there were none. No sly piranhas were swimming in the river. Were not so long ago, there had been eight, nine, ten. And so ends the story of those foxy little fishes. Unless you like to hear it told the same way again. The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need ten piranha prints, a pencil, scissors, a glue stick, construction paper, whiteboard, and a dry erase marker. First, trace your hands on the construction paper and cut them out. And then glue 10 piranha prints on each fingertip. Tape the hands on a whiteboard and you are ready. You will practice addition first. Put all 10 fingers down and hold the fingers as many as you want. Count the fingers and write down the addition sentence. You can check your answer by counting piranhas one by one. Once you get used to addition problems, then it's time to practice subtraction. This time, you will start the activity with all 10 fingers up. Fold the fingers down as many as you want and write down the subtraction sentence. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time!